The Red and Black was an anarchist collective coffee shop and gathering space a few blocks from where I lived in southeast Portland. Morgan used to give me free bowls of chili when I was broke. I would use their computers to check my Hotmail account. It was 2002 when I was sitting on the ground outside in a hoodie smoking a cigarette. Walt Curtis stopped in front of me and asked if I was a homeless boy. I said no. He turned and walked away. I moved back to this neighborhood um, on the border of Oakland and Berkeley at the end of 2017, this time South Berkeley. I walked to the coffee shop where I used to go when I moved to the neighborhood in 2005 in North Oakland. It's the same coffee shop where I wrote The Line Curves Where You Live. Now I write here in the same coffee shop about that piece, how I cut one word for every three words and made it better. I walk on the same streets, but my head no longer hangs. My shoulders are less slumped. I walk a little less rushed. I'm still the same person, same anxieties and fears, same delusions, but I have more presence and intention, more stillness. This is partly because I transitioned, but is also because I grew up. I did a lot of work. I mean, inner work that's invisible. When I get pushed on a stretcher into an operating room or start inserting a needle into my body once a week, I receive many congratulations. <laughs> 